So last night, uh, shortly after the news broke that Trump decided to flip and sign off on the uh, crappy stimulus, I made a video uh, pretty much raking him over the coals. Uh, rightfully so, in my opinion. He completely turned on the American people, uh, in, in, in my opinion. But I was curious. Uh, something told me that the diehard Trumpers were going to find some way to defend his actions, why, why he did what he did. And the first thing that popped right up was <laughs> his little, or the White House statement after he signed the stimulus where he wants to use the Impoundment Act. Now, from what I can gather, the Impoundment Act was used historically uh, going back before Richard Nixon. It was used as a way to kind of put a check on a uh, Congress's spending in the use of appropriated funds. For example, if they did not, uh, if the president did not believe that the spending was right or something, he could use the impoundment act as a way to kind of alter what was already appropriated or something along those lines. Well, here's, here's where this gets tricky. So the Republicans themselves even made this argument years ago on Obamacare, at least certain factions of the Republican Party, a lot of the talk radio hosts, uh, certainly made this point. I, I, I'm fully aware of it because my dad used to make this point all the time. Congress controls the purse. It's in Article 1 of the Constitution, Section 9, I believe somewhere around Clause 7, okay? They control the power of the purse, which means they kind of control how money is spent. So the whole thing with the Impoundment Act was really altered in 1974, because they, they passed the ICA, the Impoundment Control Act. And basically, they felt that Richard Nixon was trying to use impoundment uh, too often. He was trying to overreach from the executive branch. Congress has the power of the purse, and he was trying to dictate how they could and could not spend their funds so they passed the ICA. Well, basically what this did was it says that anything, if the president were to get what he got, obviously in the form of this stimulus, and he wants corrections to be made, okay, he can send a letter back with his corrections in mind. And, and, and so here's the catchy part. They can or they cannot decide to do anything with it once he has signed it, Okay. If he has signed it, okay, if he has signed it, ball game's over. So for all the people who are out there right now, and I had a couple of them on, on my Facebook page, uh, try to give me the whole line, oh, no, you need to look more into this, look into his plan. He, 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 he's going to push to get these changes done. How, 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 how? He has no leverage. It doesn't matter if they make the changes or not. It's going forward. Why? He signed it. There's no backtracking it now. There's no backtracking it anymore. You, all these people. God almighty. How, how far down in the Kool-Aid bowl do you have to be? Seriously. He signed it. It doesn't matter what changes are made or are not made. It is a done deal. Now, if they approve the changes, that would be wonderful. So now let's talk about the changes. Again, the impoundment does not require them to even put his rec recommendations are really what these are or suggestions. The impoundment does not require them to even take it up for a vote. But if the House were to vote yes then it has to go to the Senate, and they have to vote yes, okay? And guess what? This has to be done within 45 days. If it doesn't get done, I, I'm, to my knowledge, it just goes forward as it was originally written. If it doesn't get voted on favorably, well, it goes forward as it was originally written. Well, last time I checked, you yourself you being the President Trump here, you said this thing was a disgrace, which means if these changes are not fixed and it goes forward as is, you just signed off on legislation you yourself said was a disgrace. 
So you signed terrible legislation. Hmm, if only there was another option that wouldn't cause you to do that and might get something better on your desk. What could it be? What could you have done? Veto. You know, the thing you said you were going to do a week ago, right? So now let's talk about what's actually happened. The big breaking news, of course, Congress tonight, the House, they voted to increase it to $2,000 checks. Now, now it has to get past Republicans in the Senate. And what is the problem with it getting past Republicans in the Senate? There ain't a lot of Republicans in the House who voted for it. And Mitch McConnell already has signaled he's not in favor of it. So they may or may not, may or may not, uh, get this thing through the Senate. But even if they do, the only thing that you seem to be getting any different than the original is that they've bumped the money from $600 up to $2,000. Guess what didn't get removed? The whole censorship thing where they're making any time you get a copyright issue, you could be charged with a felony. That did not get removed. Mm -mm. How about all the millions to billions in waste being sent to other countries? Did that get removed? Nope, we didn't get rid of that either. That's still there. So plenty of our money is going to be going to the special interests and to other countries. And in some cases, it's going to those other countries to do things for those countries we won't even do for our own country. So for all the people who were on the Republican side, who were pro-Trump, who were just like me and pointing out all those problems from the beginning, if you start cheerleading the fact that it went to $2,000, and then <laughs> on the flip side, all that waste is still present? So am I getting this correct? $2,000 was the right price to buy your silence so your government could pimp out your country? I thought you were supposed to be patriots, right? Like, really? I get the American people are in a bad space right now, in a bad place, and they need help, possibly some financial help. But you think that should come with the price tag of giving billions of dollars away to the rich and to other countries? That That's the price tag you need for getting help to the American people? I don't think you really believe that. But you also don't want to criticize your demigod and President Trump either. Just be honest. Just be honest. He should have vetoed this steaming pile of horse shit. Just like he said he was going to. So again, even if this $2,000 thing clears, it doesn't appear that there's any waste that has been trimmed out of this thing. Which means if you cheer it on, you're willing to accept $2,000 as hush money so they can pimp out your country. Aren't you proud to be an American? Furthermore than that, there's no guarantee the $2,000 thing is even going to make it because it's still got to get past the Senate. And, ooh boy, considering the Republicans in the House weren't too happy about that concept, what makes you think the Republicans in the Senate will have a drastic change of heart? They could. They could. But it's not likely. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, uh, let's examine one more time. Why could President Trump have, have had this sudden flip? So obviously I, I gave the, the idea that it could be something to do with, with, with the Georgia runoff. Someone got in his ear and said, Hey, you need to help the, the people in Georgia. Well, I got news for you. If it doesn't clear the Senate because of Mitch McConnell and the people who don't want to pass the checks, that's going to really hurt the people in Georgia either way. The candidates for the Republican Party in Georgia are going to be in deep, deep trouble if they don't vote for getting out these, these checks, okay? So if the Republicans stop it and Mitch McConnell's at the helm of that, the Republicans in Georgia, deep trouble, first of all. Second of all, second of all, the already turmoil, I don't think that's helping them out. But thirdly, and here, here's a big one. I've started to think of another reason why he may have had such a sudden change of heart. And there could be a lot of reasons. Again, I've said this before. This His ego drives him to do what he does. He's governed by his ego. 
okay, for, for the most part. So maybe he just got his ego in check. Maybe, and this is one that I'm curious about, someone else put his ego in check. You know, if he were to resign and get a presidential pardon before he leaves office from Mike Pence, as many people have started to point out, that's only going to cover him from federal charges. But he's got that uh, guy in New York that's ready to probe his finances nice and hard. Okay? That being said, that pardon ain't going to save him from that guy. So what are the odds there's probably some powerful figures behind the scenes who are tired of him trying to, you know, get his jabs in at the Republicans because they didn't play ball for him in a way he thought they should have? What are the chances that he could have sat there, thought it over, or someone came to him and said, so look here, you're going to quit being a thorn in our side. And if you quit being a thorn in our side, then here's, here is what we are going to do for you. We will make sure that you don't get probed when you leave office. You probably won't see jail time or prison time. Get out of our way. Let us do our thing. You just shut up and sign off on it and we'll take care of you. If you don't, we'll make sure that life could be rather difficult for you on your way out the door. I'm wondering if something like that might not have had uh, such, a, such a drastic change because that would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? Trump's literally out there to try to save his own skin at that point. So yeah, he's going to really backtrack and he's going to backtrack in a hurry. I don't know what you think, but 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 to me, that actually makes a little bit of sense. But either way, the $2,000 checks have cleared the House. Will they clear the Senate? Don't know. But either way, it appears that this waste is still in there. A lot of those other sneaky provisions, such as the uh, copyright felony issue, that's still sitting in there. None of the pork was really trimmed out of this bill. The only thing changed was it went from 600 to 2000 And if you're not going to continue to have a principled stance and say that that pork should have been trimmed out, then I'll say it again, we clearly found your buy-off price that your government needed to give you so they could continue to pimp out your country while you sat back in silence. Enjoy being such a true patriot.